other gender is actually into. So many of those videos have popped up that it's gotten to the point where my testicles are irritated. Have you seen me? I do not have testicles. So I'm here to balance it out and talk about annoying things about dating men. Now first, the most annoying thing by far is the fact that some men still act like it's a crime to show their emotions. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm crying. Sir, you're under arrest for showing your emotions. As if that'll actually happen. Now I'm not saying you should cry a river because it gets annoying when anyone is overly dramatic. Listen, this is not a telenovela. Hi, seem to be lacking these days. You know, I would really appreciate it if a man were to tell me what they were really thinking or feeling. Like I said, you don't have to be overly dramatic. You don't have to show your emotions all the time. You just have to communicate them. Also, omitting things? Yeah, that's part of honesty too. You can't omit things. Uh, who are those women that follow you? No, don't be ridiculous. I have nine. The others are at home taking care of my 23 children. Yeah, that's a big pile of nope. The third annoying thing is when a guy acts like all women need hours and hours to get ready for something. My maximum ready time is about half an hour, and that's if I take a dump and then eat before leaving. I've known men who take minimum an hour to get ready. And those are the ones who don't take forever to get out of bed. Well, then again, I haven't had any vegan boyfriends yet, so it makes sense that their dumps take at least half an hour. Now, fourth on the list. Sending pictures of your dong may be a turn-on for you, but it's no from me. If I send you a dirty picture, it's only because I want to make you happy and I feel like that's what will do it. To me, looking at a picture of your member is like looking at a turtle's pleasure piece an inch away from your face. Yeah, it's weird. You know what? It turns me on just as much as watching that video of a turtle mating with a croc. Yeah, uh, that's negative turn on points, uh, just to be clear. Insisting that the man has to pay every time. Even if I offer to split it, and also doing so aggressively, then there's not offering to pay your half. Now even worse, uh, expecting me to pay for everything, especially when I hadn't previously said it's on me. I believe in balance. Now I understand that where I'm at at this point, I can't always pay for myself. So. It's nice to be paid for once in a while. I'm going to admit that. But the majority of the time, I'll pay for my half. The thing is though, in the future, when I do have extra money, I'll balance out being paid for by paying for everything once in a while. In case some of you needed a lesson on what balance means. If I offer to split the bill, just let me pay. Unless it's a special occasion like my birthday or something. And you know what? When the waiter comes and asks, oh, should I split the bill? And you give me that look like, oh, you're paying? <laughs> I ask the waiter to split the bill anyway. The worst thing you can do is if I didn't say I'm paying and you go straight to the waiter and say, oh, she's paying. Now, folks, that is what you call douchebaggery beyond belief. I always voice the fact that I'm on disability because my seizures are pretty bad. But if you have the audacity to expect me to pay for everything, boy, you have another thing coming. And this actually happened to me before. Ladies, if you're out with a guy and he expects you to pay for the whole thing, just uh, pretend to go to the bathroom, talk to the waiter.
waiters say that you're going to pay for your stuff and then leave because he has to pay for his own stuff. Yeah, just do that and then leave. That's what I did. And the dude deserved it. Especially because he was previously talking about how he was such a big shot at work and how much money he got. <laughs> I am not paying for your meal if you are bragging on the first date. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now if you like that, Subscribe and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you guys. Bye.